Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm joined by Colin Mackay of Teledyne Paradise Datacom. Colin, welcome to Sat TV Week. It's the first time we've spoken, but Teledyne Paradise Datacom has got a great heritage in the satellite sector and you're renowned for the new products you bring out and you've just brought out a new product. Yeah, um, our new product is called uh, QNET and it's a brand new satellite communication system. And the really nice thing about it is it's uh, looking at the fundamental challenges that we face with satellite communications. And basically, Richard, the two things I think are really important is to try to cut the cost of uh, satellite networks. And also, the other thing is to try and cut the complexity. And what QNET actually does is it's a hub in a box. So you have a single box, and it replaces a whole rack of um, communication equipment at your hub. And in doing that, basically, that one piece of equipment um, is now a hub in a box. And in fact, that's an entirely new concept in our industry. I'm sure you've never heard that expression before, a hub in a box. Um, and whereas traditionally, a TDMA hub, for example, would cost a quarter of a million dollars or maybe half a million dollars, well, for something like a QNET uh, hub in a box, you're talking of potentially less than 10% of that cost. And of course, what happens then is that's a game changer for the industry. Um, you can imagine what a difference that makes in terms of extending the reach of satellite to a brand new audience. Now, in my opinion, there's an audience out there who found uh, satellite networks way too complicated and way too expensive to consider. And they've simply ignored that market and voted with their feet. So with QNET, what they're able to do is um, the nice thing is the cost of the network stays commensurate with the size. So if you've literally got one remote, then you pay a very small amount of money. And it scales accordingly. So what we've done is we've created a new entry point for satellite communications. Because uh, if you only want a small network of 5 or 10 or 15 sites, you pay a very small amount of money. And I don't think the industry has ever seen that before. And the other thing is, you can imagine if you've got one, one box which replaces a whole rack of equipment. Now you don't have space issues. You don't have the same space issues. You don't have the same issues with uh, cables and power and all of those things. So the savings keep on accumulating. And um, so I'd just like to reiterate that. I think that QNET is a game changer for the industry. We've redefined the entry point. We've attracted a brand new audience to satellite. And um, it's something that the industry has been crying out for a very long time, in my opinion. A lot of commentators have been critical of the satellite industry because they're not great at educating a new audience. You seem to have educated a new audience, but how difficult is that? It, it is a difficult thing. I think one of the issues we face in our industry is that technology has become incredibly complicated. Um, and, and in fact, part of that change is due to the nature of TCPIP and uh, moving over from traditional legacy interfaces to TCPIP. And again, our attitude has been to try to make that plug and play, um, where you don't have to be, you have a PhD in, uh, in TCP IP and all the network protocols in order to make it work. It should just be something you switch on and it works under the hood. Now, that's a very hard thing to accomplish and uh, I don't know how successful we've been, but that's what we've tried to do. And I think, again, you know, uh, I see some of our competitors, their equipment can be incredibly complicated to set up and uh, unfortunately there's been a dumbing down in our industry where um, user, the, the knowledge of users has actually gone down, not up. So that's something we've had to take into account. We're packaging up a lot of technology, it's highly complicated, but hopefully from the point of view of a user, it's actually very simple to use. The hub in the box sounds very simple. How do you keep the cost down whilst keeping up the operational reliability? Well, one of the things we're doing with the hub in the box is it actually uh, incorporates 16 demodulators. So you can imagine that traditionally you would have had to have 16 different boxes just to have that same amount of functionality. So the cu cost cutting, if you like, is actually intrinsic and in, in integral to what we're doing. And um, that's, that helps a great deal in terms of uh, passing on that cost reduction to our users. So simply by having a single box which replaces a whole rack of equipment, the savings at the capex level are profound, not to mention opex savings, which uh, is another area obviously that we focused on as well. 
long tradition in the market, as I've already said. What's your take on the market at the moment? Well, I think it's no secret that the satellite industry has been in a has been a, a very flat market now for several years, and um, and what it, what it's forcing companies to do, in my opinion, is go into niches inside that market which are still growing, like mobile communications. So, for example, we have a very small modem, which uh, gets integrated into uh, terminals. It gets integrated into um, vehicles, UAVs, these types of things. So one of the nice things is there's always a market that's expanding, even in a market that overall is flat. The key is being able to recognize um, where those niches are and, and, and frankly being brave enough to invest in them uh, in order to succeed. Because you can't always predict the winners, as I'm sure you know. Colin, thank you very much. Okay, it's a pleasure, Richard.